Outcast boards. Can we go to the first uh, <laughs> amendment of rules in boxing? Uh, malambot, uh, one of our legal staff in uh, the legal division of God. Amendments of uh, ano po to, uh, yeah. So we will just go through the amendments. Rules. No? Okay. Not just the amendments, but also the certain issues that we are working on to improve the rules of cow with respect to boxing. Because as you know, uh, we have to be attuned with the demands of the times and all the more suggestions of the industry. And it's so good that the, the board is very receptive of these uh, yeah. suggestions. Yeah. Although, please understand that today, we will be reporting to you. We will not be making any policies here today. We can, maybe if you have issues, that you want taken up, you can approach us, you can write us, no? you can bring up uh, mga inaing or mga suggestions. At ito po yung example ng mga suggestions na uh, tinakil ng board at uh, tinignan naman yung merit at uh, sinunod. No? Sa local boxers licensing and fees, tinanggal na po yung uh, special work permit the letter F, no? kung titignan nyo, wala na pong special work permit sa aming mga, sa inyong, sa ating mga professional uh, boxers and uh, innovations. And it's not because it's no longer required by law. It's just that hindi po yun yung aming mandate. So, hindi na po namin nire-require na isubmit ninyo. But, yung mga foreigners should also comply with the rules. No? Kaya papipirmahin namin sila ng undertaking that they will comply. And if they don't, pwede rin namin sila tanggalan ng, ng lisensya. Okay? Pangalawa po, yung napag-usapan, I think, kahapon, yung consent for minors na magbaboxing. Uh, unfortunately po, we, we know that in the past, may mga minors to have been uh, licensed. But uh, we have audited, reviewed, at uh, due diligence po kami sa aming rules. It appears that the old law, does not allow minors to join professional boxing. Yun po yung tinatawag na, ano, na kahit lumang batas yun, 1940s pa yun, tawag doon Juralex and Lex. It's still the law. Wala po tayong magagawa despite our sentiment na dapat nga paglaruin po na nga yun ng mas maaga with, with proper safety and uh, you know, supervision. But we are glad to report Kahapon, pinag-usapan po yung gap strengthening. Siningin po namin yun. No? That uh, 16 years old and below, with the consent of the parents and with the approval of the medical section, pwede. No? Yun po yung sinusulong namin dun sa ating rules. But as of now, hindi pa siya napapasa. Yun muna tayo sa 18 years old. Ha? Slide So ito po yung bagong listahan. No? Kailangan po ng kanilang uh, sa foreigners, no? kailangan ng license abroad. In the absence of the license abroad, ang kanilang commission, no? meron naman silang fallback position, which is the letter of authority ng kanilang boxing uh, commission that the boxer is fit to fight. Ngayon, kung yung kanilang certification or yung kanilang letter of authority walang nakalagay na they are fit to fight, Si Dr. Uh, Dr. Viernes po, Dr. Rivera, mag-approve sa kanila. In other words, they will go through the medical uh, process. Next slide. Uh, may konting adjustment po dun sa managers. Sinamahan po ng back certification or back certification. Kasi yung iba, uh, hindi pa nakakapag-file ng ITR. So yung bank certification. Ang ano naman po kasi dito, kaya namin nire-require yung bank certification or your income tax just to show na may financial capacity yung manager. It's not really we will, if that person has complied with the internal revenue rules. But of course, mas maganda kung isubmit niyo pareho. Ma-assure yung GAP that the applicant is uh, financially capable. And like I said, Wala na rin po yung SWP for managers and promoters. So, ito po yung ano, bago namin nilagay, no? Instead of the SWP, lahat ng foreigners will have to sign an undertaking 
that they will comply with all the immigration laws. Okay? So dahil meron silang ganyan, alam nila na you still have to comply. Pag hindi kayo nag-comply, either report namin kayo sa BI or tanggalin namin yung inyong lisensya. Because it's still your obligation to the Philippine government to comply with the immigration laws. Yeah. So, <clears throat> isa pong mainit na issue din that we are working on and uh, hope happily meron nang napag-usapan na how do, how we are going to to address this is the issue of um, mismatch, no? Kasi po yung mismatch is not only an issue that involves CAB or the boxing division, but it, it involves everybody from the stakeholders. So, nilagay na rin po namin dito yung obligasyon ng matchmaker at ng promoter to certify <coughs> na yung po kanilang sinasabit in the first place ay eh, walang mismatch as far as they are aware. No? Pinipinalize po ngayon ang pagsasabit knowingly in bad faith ng mismatch. Kung alam mo ng mismatch at sinabit mo pa rin, pwede kang questionin ng GAP. Okay? After due process, pwede kang i- suspend, reprimand, etc. But after due process. The point being, you should not submit knowingly a mismatch a card or even a uh, file. Ito po, clarification lang po sa pre-approval of matches. It includes fights abroad. No? As much as possible, i-pre-approve din po natin yung fights abroad. Isa rin pong uh, pinag-usapan yung payment of the purse. Kasi one of the issues na umaabot sa legal division yung mga non-payment of the purse. So, one of the remedies that the, the board has come up with is to require the immediate payment of the purse. So, nakalagay po dito, within 4 hours after the fight, dapat nabayaran na yung purse. So there must be a, an overriding reason bakit hindi nabayaran yung purse boxer. Otherwise, pwede mag-complain yung boxer bakit hindi siya binayaran as soon as possible. At meron pong possible sanction no, for non-payment of the purse. Kasi po, ang nangyayari dyan po minsan, dahil walang sanction pinibigay sa manager o sa promoter, may reklamo ngayon yung boxer sa amin, nagiging kami collecting agency. Vice versa, manager against promoter, promoter against mga parties natin. So, as much as possible, avoid that because we are regulatory. Administrative case lang kami, hindi po kami uh, civil case. Right. Next slide. Nalapit na pong matapos. Kasi po, I'm sure marami naman po kasi sa inyo are familiar faces. We've been uh, discussing this uh, time and again sa mga consultation. It's just a reporting. Hindi mapunta tayo doon sa, no? sa slide. Yung isang, ano, doon sa, yan, yeah, authority to travel, to fight. As we all know, required pa rin po ang authority to fight abroad. No? Kaso ang isang very significant um, discussion is on whether or not we will allow yung one out of the last three no? as an exception to the general rule na dapat ka two out of three. And uh, hindi pa po lumalabas ito but more or less ito yung magiging final outcome depending on the final decision of the board. So, letter A, the boxer has two wins out of the last five. So, alam natin yan, di ba? As an exception, mag apply ng, uh, ng authority. Hihingin pa rin sa board. Hindi pa rin po yan, ano, hindi, rin po, hindi po automatic yan. Kailangan pa rin po mahumingi ng authority sa board because the board will still exercise its discretion. Hindi po porket 2 out of 5, pwede na. Mag-a-apply muna, titingnan pa rin ng board.
board at the boxing division, the matching and the qualifications of the opponent and contestants. Now, the new innovation po is Benjo magiging ano magiging uh, less strict with letter B because here ya allow po if this is approved ya allow po yung one out of the last three fights no pinanalo niya no instead of two out of five yung isa out of the three okay or or no kung hindi man siya nanalo doon sa kanyang last three yung loss niya, yung last loss niya should not be a KO or TKO. Magkaano po yan? Magkahiwalay po yan. No? Yun po yung suggestion. Although this is still under deliberation, ito po yung pinupush niya yan. No? So, ulitin ko, hindi siya pasok sa 2 out of 5, at uh, sorry, 2 out of 3, pwede pa rin exception, sound discretion ng board, papayagan, kung yung 2 out of the last 5 pinanalo niya. Or, yung kanyang, so let's say, hindi siya nanalo dun sa dalawa out of 5. No? Pwede pa rin payagan kung yung 1 of the last 3 fights pinanalo na niya. So, mas, mas, ano, mas relax ng konti. Or, or, extreme exception. No? Titingnan talaga ng, ng board ng, ng gabion. Pwede pa rin payagan kung kahit hindi siya nanalo dun sa kanyang uh, one out of three, as long as yung kanyang huling laban ay hindi knockout or TKO. Okay ba yun? Is that something that ano? Because ito po ay nanggaling po sa ano ha? Nanggaling po ito sa mga stakeholders. Ito po yung kanilang uh, suggestion. But of course, intindihin po ninyo na kahit Kunwari, pasok siya sa letter B, hindi pa rin si Pinayagan. Pasensya na po kayo because they must have seen other reasons why they, they did not approve your application. Baka naman sobrang layo yung, yung, ano, yung uh, matching or sobrang delikado yung boxing natin, safety-wise, or hindi Pinayagan ng medical. Okay? Ito po nilagay po yung nilagay po namin ito as as a reminder lang no yung the authority to file should be filed not less than 10 days prior to the departure. So, Inemphasize lang po namin na tulungan po natin yung boxing division na uh, hindi sila masyadong naharas. Apply na lang tayo mas maaga as much as possible. Ah, kagaya po ng sinasabi ko kanina, yung board always evaluates yung mga matching and, and the other circumstances surrounding the fights. Nilagay po dito for emphasis dun sa ating rules that in all cases, no, the board shall evaluate the records of the boxer applicant and the opponent before approving the application for authority to fight. Mas masusi po yung pag-aaral na ginagawa nila. Of course, may mga nagsasabi, e, boxing yan, e, paano mo naman malalaman kung mismatch until matapos yung laban, di ba? But of course, there's still records eh. That we can still, as much as possible, make decisions based on records, based on what they have, the evidence that they have. So pagpasensahan na lang po natin kung minsan kailangan nyo silang debatihin, no? They, they will welcome that, yung discussion to. Another... Um, Amendment that's being uh, that will be approved, no? Is yung ano po yung uh, inclusion po, no? Ng one one to ten bang ayon ng applicable dito, Ma'am Jackie? One to one to fifteen. Ito po ang ang pinag-usapan po dito yung ano eh yung kung rank ka na ng world uh, ng WBC, WBA, WBO or IBF from 1 to 15, hindi nyo na kailangan malagay sa Philippine ratings, di ba? Pwede pa rin kayong bayagan lumaban abroad. Now, kung regional body naman po, ng W, so, yun yung OPBF uh, and all the other regional boxing bodies under WBC, WB, WB, and IBF, pwede rin po, no? Provided ang rating ninyo is 1 to 10. Tinanggal na po yung 1 to 15. Kasi po, merong, you know, 
parang nanenegate yung ano eh, yung rating system natin. Because it's much easier to get to the regional uh, rankings ng 11 to 15 kesa dun sa ating requirement na kailangan mo nasa Philippine rating, nasa WBC, WBA. So, ginawa siyang 1 to 10. No? Mas mas strict siya ng konti. And then of course, the world, the world and regional champions will still be allowed to fight abroad to defend their title. Whether or not meron silang, uh, they possess all the other requirements that I mentioned a while ago about winning two out of five fights, uh, two out of three. So ito po yung, alam na po ninyo ito, ano? yung six round bouts abroad. <clears throat> These are for non-rated or rated. Ina-emphasize lang po namin. Ina-amend dito to include the word rated boxers. So kahit po non-rated or rated, pwede pa rin siyang lumaban sa six round. Because there was a misconception before that if you are rated, you cannot fight in a six, uh, six round bout abroad in these countries na nakasulat Japan pagpasahin ko lang ha, para ma-emphasize, Japan, China, Malaysia Singapore, Australia, India, Dubai New Zealand, Canada, South Africa UK, Germany, Russia, Mexico Ukraine, Ireland, South Korea Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, US po, oh, yun yung ano, alam nyo na kung ano yung mga wala dyan so, ipakasali yung mga yun. And in addition to the fact no, na 6 round yung fight, kailangan din po that the match is evenly, or the fighters are evenly matched based on the records, no, weight, uh, ability, quality of the previous fights, tinitingnan din po yung like you know. And the person, uh, the boxer has not lost his last fight by KO or TKO. He has fought, he has fought for the last 6 months. And he has secured the favorable recommendation of the boxing division. We now go to the sparring abroad. Kailangan din po ng rest period ng 15 days. At least 15 days uh, from the last boxing contest na inatin na sinalihan ng uh, boxer who wants to spar abroad. Ito po, no, yung uh, mandatory rest period. As we all know, we have the 45 days regardless of the number of rounds. Ngayon, isi-share ko lang po, doon sa gap strengthening ng hiniring kahapon, ang original po na nakalagay doon, mas less strict, 30 days po. No? So hopefully, pag yun, inaproban ng, ano, inaproban ng, ng House at ng Senate, and eventually it becomes a law, bababa siya ng 30 days. And then, siyempre, hindi na kami masisisi no, for um, imposing a, such a long, a longer period of 45 days. Pero as of now, ang rules po natin is 45 days pa rin unless, no, nandyan yung exceptions, no, there's a medical clearance, nanalo siya dun sa kanyang last fight, and the last fight was an easy fight, and there was uh, only light punishment. The board will may in the exercise of its sound discretion, reduce the rest period to 30 days. Ayun po, no? just a review. Um, definition po ng medical section at ng boxing division, ng easy fight, is that the boxer has won the fight and minimal exchanges and no solid blows received. Ibihira po yun, no? pero yan po. No? Now the next Punishment, the most mahirap than easy fight is the light punishment. Still, the boxer has won the fight with a few solid blows and there is no effect on mentation or level of consciousness. Hindi, hindi nagkas... Ano ba yung mentation to? Uh, hindi na hilo, ano? Hindi, hindi na... Walang star, parang ganun. Hindi na apekto. <laughs>
Ito, alam, alam, na, alam na ng lahat nito, no? Body punch ng KO or TKO 60 days, head punch 90 days. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, yun, yun lang naman po palagi yung pinag-uusapan natin, ano, yung pinake-up ko na yun. Yun yung palagi pa ulit-ulit na pinag-uusapan natin. Uh, so, this is how uh, these laws are, uh, they stand right now and how the board is uh, trying to to amend them in order to cater to the uh, the needs of the times. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you and uh, good morning. Thank you very much for coming. Ever for details, please remain on stage to receive a plaque of appreciation to be... Powcast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.